Welcome back to Gunlocker 75. Today we're back with another last one I would sell, inspired by the Hickok series, Hickok 45. If you're watching this video, you would have already seen my last Smith & Wesson I would sell video. So I kind of figured, you know what, why don't I go through my collection and just kind of make a few of these videos, because they're kind of cool. So this one is last SKS I would ever sell. Yes, I only have four here. I used to have 12 of them at one point. So it would have been a more interesting video. But, and I kind of regret getting rid of quite a few of them. So anyways, <clears throat> today we have an Albanian SKS. We have a paratrooper. We have a Chinese Type 56. And we have a Russian. These are all the SKSs I currently have in the collection. And which one would I not sell if I can only keep one. There's no sentimental in this video. So I guess I guess we can get to it. The paratrooper has a 16 inch barrel, the rest of them have a 20 inch. Um, it is really cool having a shorter SKS. You don't see the paratroopers nearly as much. But if I got to do an elimination I am going to start by eliminating the paratrooper. I guess we'll just set them on the floor <laughs> to get them out of the way. We don't have the best table set up here. So now we're down to these three. If you don't know a lot about the Albanian SKS, as you can see, the top handguard here is longer than your traditional SKS. There's some different differences on, on an Albanian, and there's there's not a lot of these. It's said that there's a, between six and 8,000 of these in the country, and a lot of them are in really poor condition. A lot of them are non-numbers matching. This one is pretty solid. This is a numbers matching. Um, this is a later one, 1978. I believe this is the last year they were produced. It's in pretty good shape. I've actually never fired this gun and I've probably had it like four or five years. So we're going to do a video pretty soon on shooting this one. All right. Well, with that being said, it's time to eliminate another one. I'm going to, I'm going to eliminate the Russian. The 1951, it's tough. This is a, to me, a, I love the finish on this rifle. It, it has been refinished, but it's still a beautiful rifle. It's a tough one to get rid of this one, but she gone. And then there were two. We have the uh, Chinese Type 56. This is, uh, I believe, from the 1950s, this one. And what I love about it is the bluing is pretty much gone. It's kind of gray at this point. The previous owner put a clear coat on the stock. Normally, that would not be a good thing. Obviously hurts the value. But I just fell in love with this rifle the moment I saw it. It's got a lot of defects, but the clear coat kind of brings them forward in a good way. And I just love the way it looks. This, this one isn't about like originality and, and, uh, and value, you know. So we're going to go ahead and eliminate the Albanian, which any of these really would have been a good choice if they were your last, but we're going to stick with the Chinese. And the reason why 
is I just love the way this one looks. It's just my favorite SKS. I love the, the total worn out look. I love the clear coat that enhances all the flaws. It's just the perfect looking SKS in my mind. And if it wasn't for this particular one and the way it looks, there's no way I would choose the Chinese one over a Russian or an Albanian. So, there you go. This is the final one. This will be the last one I would sell. Short one today, guys, but still kind of cool. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And... Thank you for watching Gunlocker 75 and we will see you on the next one.